Viltrumites are a highly advanced alien race of extremely powerful humanoids native to the planet Viltrum. They seek to expand their galactic empire by conquering other planets and rule the entire universe. They are known and feared across the galaxy as a merciless militaristic people endowed with frightening superpowers and aided by their extremely advanced technology. Thus, they are nigh unbeatable and never give up a claim to anything they covet. So in this video, we are going to have a look at some of the most powerful Viltrumites in the Invincible Universe. Thrag's children are Thrax and Viltrumite hybrids, just like Oliver Grayson. In five years, Thrag made thousands of these hybrid children and increased his army's strength. Individually, these children are on the same level as Oliver, but when they attack together, their sheer numbers can overwhelm anyone. Few among those thousands of hybrids were stronger than other. They were trained by Thrag personally and were turned into Thrag's elite guard. After their training, some of them were able to get stronger and keep up with an average pure-blooded Viltrumite. For others, their main strategy to tackle and kill any opponent who is stronger than them is to attack it together at the same time. They were able to destroy hundreds of planets and were also able to destroy all the military forces of the Coalition of Planets in just few minutes. Their major weakness was their bad leadership, their weak mental state, and lack of any battle strategies. Oliver's heritage has given him access to the various abilities of both races as a Thraxon Viltrumite hybrid. Oliver's purple skin was the result of Thraxon's lower genetic compatibility with Viltrumites than with humans. Because of this, Oliver's growth rate to become stronger is lesser than Mark's, as his human half is more compatible with Viltrumites. Despite the comparatively lower genetic compatibility, Oliver's development is predominantly influenced by his Viltrumite genes, hence why he has a more humanoid appearance than an insectoid, and why his purple skin turned light and creamy in color as he got older. Having inherited his father's dominating genes, if Oliver were to mate with an alien being with a different physiology than his own, they would likely inherit his traits more than the mother's species. Due to his Viltrumite heritage, Oliver is granted strength beyond human levels, whose upper limits are unknown. He was able to easily kill the Mahler twins. He has the potential to become stronger, but not as much potential as Mark due to his mother's Thraxon heritage not being completely compatible with the Viltrumite's DNA. Because of his Thraxon heritage, Oliver is able to gather and assimilate any kind of knowledge and understand it fully and instantaneously. He automatically understands the mechanics behind any issue or concept they face and knows what must be done to solve any problem. He has perfect recall and the ability to cross-correlate information instantly. He is capable of learning, analyzing, memorizing, understanding, and mastering limitless amounts of information, knowledge, and skills, and immediately utilizing them without effort. His intellect enables him to learn and master anything he comes across. But despite everything, he will remain weaker than a pure-blooded Viltrumite, who is well-trained and battle-experienced. Tara Grayson was born to Samantha Eve Wilkins, a human with transmutation powers, and Mark Grayson. Just like Mark, she is a human Viltrumite powers. Tara only inherited her father's powers, and it's possible that her mother's powers might be getting suppressed by her Viltrumite DNA. She was trained in combat by General Craig, Thula, Lucan, and Mark, and she helped her father out with assisting various species in the universe. Vidor is one of the Viltrumites who participated in the Great Purge. Vidor is a blonde male with a traditional Viltrumite mustache who wears the traditional plain white Viltrumite uniform along with a pair of glasses. Vidor joined Lucan and Thula in interrogating Alan the alien for information on the whereabouts of a Viltrumite warrior and his offspring on Earth. Instead, Alan refused, resulting in Alan's beating to a near-death state. He, along with Lucan and Thula, later learned of Nolan's whereabouts, traveled to Thraxa, and started decimating the planet. Vidor is portrayed as a sadistic Viltrumite, similar to Nolan. He talks very lowly of the Thraxans, saying that they die quick once you touch them, almost like comparing them to little things like sand. He did have a little bit of pride when meeting Nolan and applauding his actions towards Mark and Lucan upon seeing blood on his arm. Upon fighting Nolan one-on-one, -on -one, it is shown that he is more of a talker rather than much of a fighter. Like most of his kind, Lucan is a sadistic Viltrumite warrior who takes great pride in his lineage and shows contempt for weak races, such as Thraxans or Unopans. Being the sadistic warrior that he is, he enjoys slowly torturing his victims to death, as he attempted to do with Mark during their first encounter. But despite being a Viltrumite who survived the Great Purge, he is still weak and low-ranked compared to the other remaining Viltrumites. Lucan was one of three Viltrumite warriors to attack Thraxa, trying to kill Omni-Man and potentially recruit Invincible. 
He attacked Mark in a cave system to find that Omni-Man had another son with a Thraxan named Andressa. He was beating up Mark and getting the better of him before Omni-Man came in to kick his ass. Omni-Man seemingly killed him and ripped out his intestines. However, Lucan was still alive. Holding his own intestines, he flew in and broke Omni-Man's back, mocking the latter on the importance of making sure your enemy is dead. And to be honest, this was an impressive feat and is the only reason I'm keeping him above Vidor. Thula is cold, bitter, and ruthless, like all other Viltrumites. Despite her advanced age, Thula retains a relatively youthful appearance and physical structure thanks to her Viltrumite genetics. She possesses a muscular build and long braided hair with a knife attached at the end and is dressed in a traditional plain white Viltrumite uniform. As a Viltrumite, Thula's genetics are so potent she can reproduce with almost any other race, and her genetics will almost completely overshadow the inherited genetics of the male. She is one of the oldest Viltrumites in Invincible, and it's possible that she might be much older than Omni-Man. But not much is known about Thula's past, other than the fact that she was born on the planet Viltrum and engaged in a bloody survival of the fittest called the Great Purge, along with the rest of her race, and was one of many to survive the war. Unlike most of the Viltrumites, Thula's hair possesses a spear that she uses like a sword or a boomerang. It can be used for long or short range attacks to wound or kill an opponent, making her a very skilled adversary. Argal was born into the powerful Viltrumite dynasty. It is implied that the dynasty's bloodline was so pure that they were even more invulnerable and powerful than the average Viltrumite. Argal's life is somewhat contradictory throughout the series. Some who tell the history of the Empire describe him as a benevolent monarch whose rule predated the Viltrumites' conquest of the galaxy. Others claim that he was a cruel tyrant who sent out his armies to conquer other worlds. Regardless, it was clear that he was a wise ruler and that the Viltrumites followed him for his wisdom rather than his strength. Basically, in terms of strength, Argal might just be close to an average Viltrumite warrior, but he was a master in battle tactics and he knew how to control and expand the Viltrum Empire throughout the galaxy. It was during his rule as the Emperor that the Viltrum Empire reached their absolute peak and were successfully able to spread their empire onto thousands of worlds. Thetis was born on Viltrum. Seeing that the Viltrumites' planet conquering was tyrannical and evil, Thetis chose to betray his race and became the first of his race to rebel against the Empire. He would slay the Emperor Argol of the Viltrum Empire and defect to parts unknown, sending the Empire into disarray. He later established the coalition of planets to defend the universe against the Viltrumite threat and battled them for thousands of years. Thetis then decided he would use his own DNA as a catalyst for a virus that would be capable of killing Viltrumites. And this virus successfully caused the mass genocide of the Viltrumites. He is probably the oldest Viltrumite in the Invincible Universe. And he is also a very skilled warrior. He fought and survived thousands of battles in his youth before betraying the Viltrum Empire. Anissa is one of the very few female Viltrumites, and she is even more terrifying than many of the male Viltrumites. In her life, she participated in multiple wars and also took control of many planets for the Viltrum Empire. She is strong enough to fight against Omni-Man, Thydis, and she has managed to overpower Mark Grayson multiple times. Anissa is also arguably the most controversial character in the Invincible comics, as she is the one behind the series' infamous rape scene. Part of the mission of the Viltrum Empire is to breed with other genetically similar species and have half Viltrumite children, allowing the ranks of the Viltrum Empire to grow. However, Anissa doesn't want to mate with humans. Instead, she tells Mark that she wants to have a child with him, as he is half Viltrumite, half human. Mark refuses, but Anissa doesn't care, with her proceeding to beat him and rape him. Conquest was born on Viltrum and was one of the few Viltrumites who survived the Great Purge and the Scourge virus. After the infection left his system, Conquest found himself vulnerable and his strength greatly diminished. After arriving on a planet inhabited by the Ragnars, his right arm was ripped off, his face was permanently scarred, and he was blinded in his right eye. Conquest has proven to be a very strong Viltrumite, despite his old age. If he had not prolonged his battle with Mark, he could have likely beaten him. Conquest was easily able to break out of a 400-ton prison and was unaffected by the explosion triggered by it, which in turn destroyed the entire facility he was kept in. He managed to survive after being headbutted to the point where his face and skull were extremely disfigured. Conquest has shown signs of advanced age, meaning that Conquest has likely lived longer than Nolan Grayson, who has lived for thousands of years. 
Kid Invincible is Invincible's and Anissa's son, who was born after Anissa had raped him. Kid Invincible's story starts at the end of Invincible, and we didn't get to see how strong he truly he is. But considering the fact that he is the great-grandson of Lord Argal, grandson of Omni-Man, and son of Invincible and Anissa, I think he can manage to surpass his father just like Invincible surpassed Omni-Man. We get to see a glimpse of this at the end of the series when he fights Invincible after feeling abandoned and getting depressed. Marky claimed that he lost control and that he could have killed Invincible. So if Marky thinks that he is strong enough to severely hurt or kill his father, then we can think he might be at the level of Omni-Man in Conquest, if not above them. Craig was born on Viltrum and is thousands of years old. He also fell victim to the Scourge virus and lost his eye. Being a high-ranking general in the Viltrum Empire, he can very well be considered an incredibly skilled strategist and tactician, which aided him in conquering countless worlds for his homeworld and his people. Craig is a black-haired male with a traditional Viltrumite yet pencil mustache who wears the traditional plain white Viltrumite uniform and has one natural left blue eye along with a cybernetic right red eye. Craig is a very practical and logical man. Unlike the more bloodthirsty Viltrumites like Conquest, Craig is more of a soldier than a warrior. He also showed a level of understanding, being reasonable, if not compassionate, by trying to convince Mark that it was for the best if he conquered his world for the Viltrumites and that doing so would spare his people from unneeded suffering and pain. He also acknowledged that having been born on Earth and raised as a human, Mark would find the task set before him to be unpleasant and emotionally taxing, while never admonishing or remarking negatively on Mark or his heritage. Nolan Grayson was an alien Viltrumite born on their planet Viltrum. His father, Emperor Argal, was the Viltrumite's leader. When he was very young, his father was killed by a turncoat who no longer believed in the Viltrumite's violent ways. Nolan was too young to remember anything about his father. His true heritage was hidden from records in order to hide him from Viltrumite enemies. Nolan was shown to be the strongest superhero on Earth, as his natural Viltrumite abilities made him so. Nolan easily killed the original Guardians of the Globe with minimal effort, and he easily defeated his son Mark in battle. Nolan has lived for thousands of years and is still in his physical prime. Basically, Nolan has all the various abilities common among his race. At the same time, he ranks among the elite warriors of his race. His powers are considerably more advanced than most others. Many of the Viltrumite warriors look up to him and are trying to serve the Viltrum Empire like he did. His genetics are so potent that he can reproduce with almost any other race, and his genetics will almost completely overshadow the inherent genetics of the mate making their offspring almost purely Viltrumite. While primarily relying on his natural Viltrumite raw might to defeat opponents, Nolan is a highly trained warrior, possessing multiple millennia of experience which makes him a highly effective and formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant. His skills proved able to compete against the entire Guardians of the Globe, killing them each one by one. Likewise, against other Viltrumites, he was decisively able to defeat them one after the other. Invincible is a brave, competitive, nice, and noble hero, and is true to his own values, especially when he discovers the harsh realities of being a superhero. While Mark is technically a Viltrumite human half-breed, the potency of his Viltrumite genes greatly overshadow his human genes, making him almost a pure-blooded Viltrumite. While spending almost his entire childhood unpowered, he soon manifested all inherited Viltrumite powers. His genetics are so potent that he can reproduce with almost any other race, and his genetics will almost completely overshadow the inherited genetics of the mate. On top of that, he is not just an ordinary Viltrumite, because his grandfather was the ruler of the Viltrumites, and that means he comes from the royal bloodline of Viltrumites. This royal bloodline might be the reason that Mark was able to survive the effects of coming in direct contact with the Scourge virus. He fought some of the strongest Viltrumites and some other characters in Invincible and was able to survive all those encounters, despite getting his organs ripped out of his body. On top of that, he's a young Viltrumite and he continues to grow strong after every fight, which means he has a lot of potential. At one point in the story, Omni-Man himself realizes that Invincible has surpassed him in just a few years. And if he continues to fight and grow strong, he can surpass even the Grand Regent Thrag. Thrag was said to be the strongest Viltrumite to ever exist, which he's stronger than Omni-Man and Invincible. He was able to easily decapitate Thetis, kill Battle Beast, and fatally wound Omni-Man and Invincible. Originally, Thrag was born on Viltrum as the son of one of the closest advisors of Emperor Argal. He was trained in all manners of combat and bred to be the strongest Viltrumite. After Argal was killed by Thetis, 
Thrag fought in the Viltrumite Civil War to restore order to the Empire. After the battle, the Viltrumites would emerge as an unbeatable race led by him. Thrag would be granted the title of Grand Regent, and he would keep Argal's skull as a reminder of what would happen if the Empire fell into disarray. When Omni-Man and Invincible fought him together, they were unable to match his strength, let alone defeat him. In simple words, Thrag can be considered the Hulk of all Viltrumites.